So guys, I'm here with Tall Guy now. Um, I'll let him do his intro in a second. We got the Eagles and the Chiefs, Super Bowl 57. I just met my guy in Redwood City um, for the Madden Bowl. And you know, that was his first, you know, taste of live event Madden. And he was, he was on top of his game, providing content clips with Henry, Fancy, Dez, and just soaking it all up. How are you doing today, my guy? And how was the experience at Redwood? Uh, man, it was it was awesome, man. I I uh, I appreciate the kind words. Honestly, uh, it was it was awesome to be out there and like to just be around uh, so many high level Madden players and to to be able to ask you guys questions and like I really do appreciate not only yourself but everyone I really talked to provided like really awesome insight not only for like like me to like pick up for like my Madden game going forward, but to share with the rest of the community. So that was like, that was super cool to to be a part of that. Before we get into it, what playbooks you rock in and then uh, kind of give me some ideas of like what you run and all that type of stuff. Cool, man. Yeah, so I, uh, I'm gonna rock with Washington. It's the book I use most of the year and I'm, I'm very comfortable in that playbook. And then uh, defensively, I'm gonna go with the four six. I like all those formations. I have a lot of comfortability with, uh, with the nickel sets and and the dollar sets in there. So I'm gonna be running the Eagles playbook. Um, I feel like using the Eagles, I gotta rock the Eagles playbook, get some RPOs in there with Hurts. Pretty similar to Colts. I think, you know, they're missing a player or two in the bunch offset. Besides that, I got four six on. To kind of be familiar with some of the concepts on defense, I don't know what's in Eagles playbook. Yeah, so are you, so you, who are you, who are you rooting for here in the, in the matchup? So I'm gonna be rooting for the Eagles. I personally think the Chiefs will win. Um, it's gonna be, I feel like a, a high scoring game, like maybe 31 27 or like 27 24. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I feel like you could definitely have a, a high scoring game here. Yeah, and it's, it's crazy. I mean, I'm a Raiders fan, but honestly, I don't even hate Mahomes. Like, I, I enjoy his game. You gotta appreciate, appreciate greatness when you see it. Like, he's, I don't know if his ankle will be good or not. The last time he had that kind of, you know, problem it was versus the bucks and they got honestly obliterated honestly had a pretty yeah, bad I, kick I, yeah. i'm used to the focus kicker but and, and regs that, that kick meter went super fast i know like you're you're primarily a mutt player do you uh do you feel like uh like some of that stuff translates over to to regs or do you feel like it's a it's it's a little harder i think it is definitely tougher to play regs especially defense you don't have the zone ko's or the medium route uh, deep route ko's everywhere Whereas in uh, Mutt, you know, they're just KO is left, KO is right. They're even dropping them for one AP now. I have an Acrobat, we, he might go crazy today. You never know, but you just yeah, don't I see try, those. I try to keep locating him so I don't throw it to your yeah. Acrobat. I got him on the right side of the field right now. Oh yeah, I, I see him there. I see him there, I, I, I spotted him right away. You're probably the highest ranked Madden player I've, I've played in a long time. And so I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how I'll stack up here against you. Um, oh shoot, nothing there. Yeah, another thing, yeah, I, I just did it right there. I sent three people. It's really tough now to do those three-man uh, coverage coverage shows in Mutt because there's free post-ups left and right. Whereas in Regs, not a lot of post-ups, you know? The the Chiefs O-line doesn't have a, one superstar uh, that I noticed. Maybe you might be, you know, you might have them subbed out. Good dot right there, but. All right, shoot, all right, shoot, just go. <laughs> yeah, good dot right there. That PA cross out of the tight. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to be able to send a lot of three to, you know, five man pressures with the no post ups. Oh, oh. Acrobat went crazy. Oh. And not only that, number 57, I think that's TJ Edwards. Should have picked that off. I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. That's one thing I should have brought up too is uh, passing. Well, that was a really bad user. Good dot. Uh, the passing is going to be a little tougher with these, you know, two releases. Mahomes doesn't have like that slinger one release and then obviously Hurts has that gen three, but he doesn't have a passing cam. I really miss Hot Route Master. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, I bet. Got him. That's my boy, Travis Kelsey. Let's go. Get on the board first. Uh, oh, okay. I got to ask you, Pavin. I, I'm, I'm sure you've seen the video at this point. Um, what do you think about the whole sky kick thing? I feel like me personally, I don't do it because I always forget, right? And then I always end up getting burnt for a touchdown. I feel like the sky kicks aren't really that scummy. There are going to be times where, you know, the, the guy might bobble it or whatever, but that's just pure unluckiness, right? That's nothing to do with your opponent planning that sky kick or, you know, planning that tactic. Right there, I mean, to, bro. No, having no pass lead to lead or uh, you know set feet lead, it's it's gonna be a mission. It's tough to cross over. Then like then like you kind of get back to basics a little bit sometimes. Oh, got the post. Get no! out of there, Devonte. Oh, no, number Devante. six. I'm surprised no, he doesn't have an ability. 
I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm surprised he doesn't have an ability by now. Yeah, I've like I've kind of timed it out, honestly. I think like I think people with focus kicker tend to kick it out at 26 seconds. And you tap it around 26 seconds. That tends to be the, the most prominent time to to go for it. Yeah, that's some good line yeah, work yeah, that you have done right there. A little bit. A little bit. You think the Chiefs are gonna run the ball quite a bit on Sunday? I know they really love to pass, but that D line on the on the opposite side, it's just so it's just too good. They will put some uh, some effort in like in like getting it going though. I don't I don't think they're gonna like not not try for it. I think they can open up the uh, the thing quite. Garner a bit. Johnson. Oh! oh, you got it. Yeah, you got me. Yeah, you got me. Okay. Newly added CJ Gardner Johnson. He's an insane player. And then not only that, he has insane mutt cards this year. He's one of those hybrid safeties that could play man, that could play zone. Oh, oh, give me that. There we go. There you go, Chris Jones. If there's anything about me in uh in, in Madden, it's like you're not I'm not gonna give up cover. I'm not gonna give up quarterback runs. So what are your thoughts on the people that like love to audible around a lot? I used to do this quite a bit, and now it's honestly kind of a meta. Oh no, 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 no. I guess it's just like it's I guess like a, it's a lot of personal preference in in that regard. No 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 no. Oh, he got it. Good run. Good run. Yeah, I got Quez out here. I mean, he, I think he's what 97, 98. So as long as you you know you stop him, I think should be all right. Dialing up a cover zero blitz. We got Quez Watkins. Can he get into the end zone? Down to the six yard line, but this is fine. You know, we could take up a little bit of a little bit of clock. Right oh, no, here. No 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 no. Devontae, oh, second nice. touchdown of the day. I couldn't get there in time. That's that's why I run those type of plays. I got like two in routes, or whatever you want to call them, like post routes, in routes. They run pretty well. The, the one on the right, going towards the right side, definitely got caged. But that's all it takes is one second of missing your user. And I'm, I missed it. I missed, missed it. it. I'm so used to the focus kicker that I missed it. Hopefully the Chiefs, hopefully the Eagles don't do that this weekend. That would be terrible. Yeah, it's just the whole point of that play is to create stress on the user, and that's what we're able to do. It's, it's a great concept. I've definitely stolen it from some people in the Madden community. And I'm not gonna lie, I need a little bit of pressure from this Eagles front seven. I've been I've been trying to bark at you, scream, but I haven't been able to get any. I like the attempt right here. We're gonna just swap that, take it to half. Good swap, good swap. The last time the, the, the Chiefs were predicted in a uh, in a Madden game they uh the Madden got it wrong and they ended up losing that game versus the Bucks but they did get the their first one versus the Niners correct do you uh do you hold a lot of stock in the oh my gosh cover three drop you're killing me out here uh, Wes Watkins do you, do you hold stock in the uh in the Madden predictions because they're one for one with predicting the uh Chiefs but they're oh oh for one they actually picked the Patriots to win last time the, the Pats played them. Yeah, so and my thoughts on that in Madden 20, which uh, it was the Chiefs and the Bucks. I think it was Madden 20 uh, when they played. Uh, that, that was like one of the first abilities with Madden or one of the first Maddens with abilities. And, you know, the Chiefs, not only that, the Chiefs were absolutely loaded in Madden 20 regs. Yeah, that, that might be why the, they predicted the Chiefs to win over the Bucks. Um, not only that, the Bucks were just super good in Matt, uh, that year. It was going to be, what was the score? 31-17, you said? Yeah, 31-17, they predicted the Eagles were going to win. But, you know, you, you can't really, couldn't really predict the Philly special, right? Like, that was, oh my goodness, nice, nice, nice whip route. Yeah, definitely couldn't predict the Philly special. It wasn't even in the game. I'm going to try to go to it right now. I don't have it. I, I should have picked live playbook. I think it would have been in there. Uh, Andy Reid and Nick Sirianni, I feel like they're two of the more creative coaches in the NFL. They run two of the better offensive schemes um definitely look for andy reed to come out with some oh, nice man. trickery yes, yeah right now i got the momentum i see that juju is on a streak so i mean it might be open it might not be but this this momentum is crazy this regs is crazy can you imagine if that's how it worked great pass i thought i was about to lurk that almost got that fumble with that tackle battle good stuff by kelsey you're going no huddle i notice you like doing this when you uh kind of down in the game yeah i like to bring some tempo kind of like get a little, little different look here I, I, like i really don't want to i really don't want to like like be too methodical at this point because like i don't, not only i'm working against the clock but i i want to catch i want to try to get a, a couple different looks out there let's go mckinnon oh my goodness good run there you know what i was starting to do this drive was i was starting to pass commit because you know i'm thinking okay you're down by two possessions there's no way you're gonna you know continue running the ball but right there i think i pass commit and you end up getting a good amount of yards right here five wide pretty tough to defend the five wide there it is oh delayed oh bad release and there's that eagles front seven eating finally getting a little bit of pressure that was sent for and they they went crazy right there right here deuce close 
I'm looking oh, at Kelsey, Kelsey almost out. hanging on to that. What a, almost what a snag. I mean, in this scenario, you kind of got to go for it, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm in a spot where I'm a little like it's two score game. I really don't have like the problem is with Reg's time is like it's way quicker than yeah. It's way quicker than uh, like you're way longer on the on the clock burn. So it's like I can't I can't like I can't mess around too much. I had I had I had the guy too on the outside. CJ Gardner Johnson with his second pick. He might be an X factor for this weekend. I can tell you they're like, they're, that their defensive line is like they're, like they're really their strength. Oh, fumble! I was not conservative. I oh, thought no way in hell is Jalen Hurts gonna fumble and he ends up fumbling. Uh, I don't actually have Tony out here. There he is. There he is. Got him. There's Hartman. Let's go. Got, looks like you got right. Hartman on a slant. Oh no, no. Oh my gosh, the release is killing me. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. Stay down. Whew. There we go. I I might have to throw the challenge lag on that. That was a dot, but there's no way he got two feet in bounds. Great. I'm gonna help you. Your challenges don't challenge. It's not gonna get the challenge. I don't think. No, I, think I know. Right. I know. That I'm just saying that as in. It looked. It looked. Yeah. A little, it looked a little suspect. Yeah, though. It definitely that. did. Is that just a uh, um a lucky uh, like a lucky uh, Travis Kelsey you know Kelsey brother play that they're giving him? I mean, I don't know. I I, I manned him up. I shaded down, and he just absolutely torched. Man, I should have probably had a cloud flat right there. I'm, a ch I'm not gonna throw that. I wanted to throw to Quez Watkins again. I probably could have tried it, but it just it didn't look too it didn't look too appealing. I honestly I haven't freeform once this game, and I don't know why. Like I, I guess I, I guess I was like the release is not as quick as I want it to be. So like I'm I'm like half worried that I'm not gonna I'm gonna have an issue freeforming. I definitely agree with you on that. Um, I, in the beginning of the year, I would always, especially when man was a meta, I would always find myself freeforming routes. When in reality, I really didn't need to. So doing that and, you know, kind of realizing, all right, you know, there's a lot of overthrows that happen or I throw a lot of picks whenever I do that. I've got to test this one. We're going up top. Could he get another big catch? And he ends up dropping it. Great defense from Sneed. I can't even be mad because Sneed is a baller. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I feel like I got to go for this. I have to go for this. Hit you with a quick hike. We're going up top again. Can we get our feet in bounds, Devonte? And you do break oh, down. Oh my goodness! You you go you went up top on the cover too. Yeah, I noticed you had to play like a zero on the sidelines, right? You had to have something like that because not only that, I I got a pretty good animation. I you know that could have been that could have gone bad. I could have you know dropped it or you know. I, you're just oh, no. not, you're, like, you're not giving it to me. Yeah. I'm trying to get some RPO action, read option action, but I just can't get anything with Hurts. So. I wanted a sack there so bad, or a strip there so bad. I was like, are you gonna give me a second fumble and really and really keep this game open? I don't know exactly what I want to run here. Really? Oh, your run play? Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, what? I got to kick by three after that sequence. Oh my goodness! Travis Kelsey in motion. I'm all over that. No, I'm Give not. Great dive. Did not think you were going to be able to throw that. I needed it, man. I needed to get a, a, some kind of pass there. I, I just pass lead that. I didn't, I didn't even freeform that one. Yeah, there's that nothing wrong with that, honestly. I, at the beginning, I'm like, okay, bro, I got to freeform a lot of passes. But towards the end of the year, you just really need to learn how to click on and undercut and hold Y on a lot of these passes and you'll be all right. No pressure okay, right I'm, there. Got you got, got him. Juju, who if that's Hardman, that's 100% a touchdown or even MVS. I threw a high ball because I was, I was you, nervous yeah. about how I was going to close on it. So like, honestly, like you're not mad. I'm not mad. Like I just, I just knew it was going to be, I knew it was going to be, I got, I got bazooka now. Jeez. Get there. Oh, I wanted to dive. I wanted to dive so bad. Little, uh, under center five wide action. Oh, no, 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 Terry Kelsey. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong we got to pick that, Darius. Yeah, it's hundred percent my fault. I, 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 ninety nine out of a hundred times throw to throw to the running back there. You put zeros on it, I got, and I got lucky. I thought CJ Gardner Johnson was about to have his third pick of the game. He sells out and gets a short arm animation. Can't be too bad. All we gotta do is recover this on and We're gonna be winning the game. The Eagles will be Super Bowl champs. All right, we'll see here. I got lucky in that one. Oh, no worry. Is this a red zone? You probably would have just ran it in. You just don't have enough time, you know? I should have had it the first time. It was there the first yeah. time. It was actually left, left, left flat was open too, I thought. Can the Eagles recover the onside oh, kick? Ah, terrible. I missed my mark. Oh, that was a close call. Don't avoid, don't avoid the fumble. And we do. The Eagles 
and will be coming home as Super Bowl 57 champions. Letting down the uh, the Kansas City Chiefs here, especially with my, my boy Travis Kelsey. He's, a, he's an Ohio boy. He's from Cleveland, him and his brother. Cleveland Heights area. Yeah, honestly, this was, you know, the Chiefs, they were down a little bit early. Like if the Eagles get a lead, they're gonna be able to run the ball quite a bit come Sunday. This was a good game. GG's to my guy, tall guy. Hopefully you guys enjoy the Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl 57 matchup between the Chiefs and the Eagles. I want the Eagles to win with all my heart. I'm a Raiders fan. I cannot, you know, I cannot root for the Chiefs whatsoever, but I personally do think Mahomes is gonna be on some crazy timing this weekend. I believe it's gonna be a high scoring matchup. Those are my two predictions. I think the Chiefs are gonna come out with a win like 27, 24, like 31, 27, something like that. I, uh, that's a good prediction. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go 31, 24, 31, 24 are Chiefs. Honestly, I, I know the predictions say the opposite way. I truly believe that Mahomes is like, is like hard to beat, especially yeah. when he's, especially when he's in the zone. And if he can get going early and, uh, and they get a lead, I think it'll be tough for the, the Eagles to come back on it. Cause they're, like I said earlier, they're not built to come from behind. Uh, but you know, you can also check out the uh, if you don't you don't like my prediction, you can also check out the uh, the Madden uh, prediction of the Super Bowl. We're gonna have the link in the description here, um, and it uh, it's pretty interesting. Ocho Cinco is the one that's uh, that's talking through it. Yeah, you heard him. I'll definitely have that link in the description. Ocho Cinco talking about Super Bowl Fifty Seven, and it's just so neat how it all works together with you know Madden with the abilities, with the ratings, with the new uh, new additions, with the people that left like Tyree Kill. It's all going to be fun to see how it plays out with Mahomes injury and all these, you know, speculations. It's, it's just all going to be finally, it's going to be good to, you know, put an end to the season. Now, we're going to miss football, but, you know, it's going to be good to finally just sit down and watch this hell of a game, which I assume it will be. Can't wait for it. Till next time, guys, I'll catch you.